So like I said, you had some time to do example number two. So it said write the prime factorization of 2,646. Well, knowing that 2,646 is an even number, I know that it's going to divide by 2. So I divide it by 2, and I get 1,323. Well, from then, I'm not too sure exactly what's going to divide into that. I know 2 is not going to. It's not even. So I go up to the next prime number. The next prime number is 3. Well, in dividing 13,000 or 1,323 divided by 3, I get 441. And it's simply a trial and error thing. Until you get used to working with lots of the numbers and knowing what might divide into something else, you trial and error it. And I would suggest starting with the lowest prime number and working your way up from there. Most of the time you'll come across it 2, 3, 5, 7. But then, you know, there'd be the odd one where it's 13 or 17 or something like that. Well, that's just the luck of the draw. So if we dive, divide 13, 23 by 3, we get 441. We divide 441 by 3, we get 147. So we're down here now, 147. If I divide 147 by 3, I get 49. And I should know that 49 divided by 7 is 7. So now I have my list of prime factors. 2, 3, 3, 3, 7, and 7. And I simply list them out. 2 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 7 times 7. Or if needed, if I need to write it down using, uh, using exp exponents, then it'd be 2 times 3 cubed, there are 3 3's, 3 cubed, times 7 squared, because there are 2 7's. 